All right, now we're ready to review some of the basics um, of how to get a advanced parallel turn and unlock the movements for you to get to how to create a parallel turn without pushing the skis away but staying in balance over the ski. One of the things that we do in skiing is we start to learn that a movement like tipping the ski is this with the foot and the leg. That movement starts with my foot inside the ski boot, transfers to my ankle, my ankle pushes to the side of the boot, and then my leg moves above that push. So if I'm going to push my ankle towards the outside of the boot here, that creates a tipping action of the ski and the leg follows. So you're going to see this movement right there. Okay, so I'm going to show you at a direct angle like so. If I tip my right foot towards the little toe edge, I'm going to get a movement where the ski goes onto the edge, my knee follows and people will see the knee and they'll say, oh yeah, he's pushing his knee out. But that's not really the answer. That's not the key to unlocking the movement. The key to unlocking the movement is with your foot and your ankle in the boot that creates that movement. Now once you start with that movement, you, that ski is going to want to turn and it will help turn. But you're not putting weight on that ski. You're not pressing that ski down. You're actually lightening it. You may leave a little pressure on the tip of the ski which helps it make this curve right here. Now what's going on here is the other one's got to do the same thing. So when you make this movement, that ski, this ski is lighter. The one I'm picking up is obviously a knot on the snow as much. And my focus, focus of my whole body, balance, has switched over to this other leg. So I'm lightening this foot, which switches my balance over. I tip this foot, which creates an, a reaction to the other ski as well. So now I've got both skis on edge, and I'm creating a parallel turn. The reason that happens is because you're not pushing the ski away. You're leaving it right under your hips. And that's really the key. Stay over your skis and stay balanced over your skis. Your head, your chin should be over your boots, between your boots all the time. So when you start your tipping action, your lower body moves to the side. But notice my upper body did not move to the inside. This causes a lean and it causes you to fall over. So, those are the basic movements and that's how you transfer balance by lightening one foot rather than pushing yourself into a turn. Whenever you push with your legs, you push your body, you're pushing yourself out of balance. You're, you're sliding your ski away. Now I'm, my head is inside that ski which means I'm losing my balance. Okay, so I'm going to ski down here show you the transfer of balance, show you the picking up and tilting of that inside foot to give you a parallel turn.